truthfully, I've never, ever met a heroin addict that wants to be on heroin. Staff Lieutenant Matt Treglia of the Allen County Sheriff's Office speaks during a question and answer forum at the recent Giving Hope Faith-Based Opiate Forum at the Shawnee Alliance Church. The first local event of its kind brought together medical, law enforcement, psychologists and counselors, pastors and faith-based professionals who have been living firsthand the effects of opiate addictions in and around Allen County. There's lots of challenges. We see at least one overdose per day. Um, sometimes multiple overdoses per day. The problems with heroin and other opiates are no secret to most people in this region. Family members, friends, the neighbor's grandson, just a few examples of the too many individuals being affected by these addictions. Allen County Coroner Gary Beasley says in 2015 there were 18 recorded deaths by overdose in Allen County, with one month left in 2016 already 36 overdose deaths had been recorded. So what is the solution? Is there a solution? How can churches and faith-based groups help? An event like this one was intended to be the start. While the lighting at the event may have been dim, the message was anything but. The real challenge for health care, for our physicians, for, for nursing, for social work, for all of us, is taking that time. Now yesterday, I took the time. It mattered. It made that connection. He felt the compassion. And I have a follow-up to do with him today. The time is the problem for us. The sometimes not being jaded. So in answer to your question, if we can afford the time and have our faith partners help us, um, sometimes when we don't have the time, if we have a faith partner that has the time, that can make the difference for our patients. The Office of Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine agrees that churches and faith-based organizations can be a key in this process. Woodhaven Outreach Coordinator Greg Delaney is involved with an Attorney General initiative to create that link. Over the course of this year, we've introduced something called a Champions Group. Why that? It's a small group is familiar to the church. And so what we've done is build a small curriculum for uh, the church to understand a little bit about what an opiate addict might be dealing with, people that are in addiction that are dealing with, but really just encouraging the church to open their doors, pull down stigma, begin to love people, but bring them into a place of community. One of the interesting things that we've learned about opiate addiction is it is an isolating disease that demands isolation. So what we've said to the church, church, you're already ready built for community. You just don't understand this community. So help us educate you about this community and then just be available and open your doors. Is there a quick solution? No. Is there a sure-proof solution? Maybe. But with God, all things are possible. The afternoon portion of this one-day event included a time of prayer. Delaney told the attendees that keeping God a central part of these discussions and potential solutions is truly the key. Uh, churches are also wonderful fits to help with sober living facilities, to help support sober living facilities within their community. So what we've done is we look for some low-hanging fruit for a church to immediately get engaged with their people that might be already part of their mercy outreach, their other outreach, and say, these are quick ways to plug in if you'll view this community of people who are dealing with addiction as a mission field. And when we can kind of switch that and switch that as, as kind of, this is the demographic, guys, this is, this is very similar to what you've already dealt with, it really helps folks to say, okay, I understand mission, now show me how to, to address that mission field. If you have a loved one dealing with an opiate addiction, know that there are organizations wanting to help. The panel members stressed the importance of patience and understanding. Getting into the programs doesn't happen instantly, and the recovery process can take a lengthy amount of time. Here are names of organizations who attended the exhibitors portion of the Giving Hope Forum. Contact them individually to find out how they might be able to help you or how you can get involved.